Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode on the channel. It's been a long time coming, but we're back today with another video. we got two races coming for you. We've got Daytona for the regular season finale for the Coke Zero 400. And then we also go to Darlington for our throwback race at the Darlington Raceway for the Southern 500. That will be the first race of the playoffs. So we're getting down to the nitty gritty and the more important races of the season to say the least. Uh, as far as deciding the champion goes, of course. So, uh, first and foremost, though, we got Daytona. We'll try to go for more playoff points. We already clinched the regular season championship after Dover, so we're good to go there. And, yeah, we're, we did one of the three things I said we were going to do. I said we were going to win the regular season championship. We can check that off the list. And I said we were going to win 20 races, and we were going to win the season-ending championship. Uh, obviously, the season-ending championships. The main goal, as far as winning 20 races, we have 14 race wins with 11 races to go. Uh, we need six more if you do the math there. So we need to win all but five races here to end the season. That's going to be pretty tough, especially with two super speedways in there. Those are really hit or miss. Uh, I've actually never won at Daytona on the career mode yet. I'm 0 for, what is it, season 3? I'm 0 for 5. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can do today. We're starting at the back, unfortunately. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin all starting at the rear. And so we're starting 37th. I qualified last. I actually messed up my qualifying line, both on the first lap and the second lap. Uh, I'm not sure if we really would have qualified better than that anyway. We have an 80 uh, overall for our car. We wanted to use the lesser of the two Speedway chassis, knowing that Darlington's the next race. I wanted to use the car that was already maxed out at 100 all the way around for that race. And then I didn't want to use either one of the short track chassis as well, because after that we have two short track races. Uh, the Roval's coming up within uh, like six more races too, so I didn't want to use the road course, even though I think I could have gotten it beefed up by then. So we're kind of lacking with our statistics on the car today. Again, 80 all the way around with that mismatch penalty. But without further ado, we're going to hop on in. We also are running our throwback scheme for this race and the next race because I'm doing both these races in the same video. So, uh, double. Uh, so, back in the comment section on the last career mode episode that was a few weeks ago already, uh, I got the comment of using a, use a Daryl Walter paint scheme. And I said I was going to do it. And I flipped through a couple of them and I couldn't find like an actual... I, I couldn't do it, essentially. It, it, like, the number font was perfect, but, like, the, the color, like, with the Tide Ride, the color orange wasn't matching up with, like, the color he actually had. And then uh, the Mountain Dew paint scheme I couldn't do either because with NASCAR Heat, for whatever reason, still up to this point, even though you can change the paint scheme on the career mode, you can't actually, like, change the font, uh, the color font. So... Whatever paint scheme I have from the very start of the year, I have to keep it within that font and just change the colors on it, which is pretty dumb. So I had to go with like an all black paint scheme. So then I was going to use uh, Sterling Marlin Silver Bullet paint scheme, but the silver wasn't like chromed out. Even like with the gloss, uh, it wasn't chromed out like it would have been on his car. Uh, the number font looked pretty cool too. So, like, the silver just didn't even match. So I was like, well, what am I going to do? I'm like, well, you know what? I am going back to Daytona. Um, I've been racing more like the Intimidator this year. A little bit more aggressive uh, with the career mode because I said I was going to win 20 races. And we're still on our way to trying to do that. So I took Dale Sr. Uh, it was obviously the more basic paint scheme. Yes, all black. And then, you know, the white number three with a... Uh, a little bit of a red outlining to it. I put the red spoiler on it as well. Uh, yes, it's a basic paint scheme, but I'm telling you guys, I spent about a half hour on trying to find, <laughs> trying to find a paint scheme that would work. And uh, the ones that I wanted to do are the ones you suggested for me to do. I just couldn't do because I couldn't change the color font. So we went with this one. We'll be running it for two races instead of one. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, Daytona. Let's see if we can get Dale Sr. another Daytona victory. Or do it for Dale, I should say. All right, green flag. Got Ryan Newman on the pole. And we got five laps in stage one. If we can't make our way through the field at least a decent amount here in stage one, I'll probably try a little bit of pit strategy and go either fuel only. Probably, oh, 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 man, there's a big check up there. Thanks, Kyle. 
He's ran right in the side of me. Denny Hamlin doesn't even want to push me right now. I think he's salty because we already beat him for the regular season championship before we got to Daytona, which is one of his better racetracks. So, okay, he's pushing us now, but he waited way too long to push us. He should have started pushing us a while ago. All in all, I'm not too worried about it, honestly. Like, we're not even fighting for stage points. And starting at the back, I highly doubt I was going to win the stage anyway. I'll just have to throw a little pit strategy first to get the track position for stage two and three. Short stage two, anyway. Five laps. Make sure my mic was turned on there. I probably should have done that at the start. Well, I did at the start, but for whatever reason, I was like, oh, let me just make sure. But nope. We have audio. It's in sync. We are ready to roll. Ryan Blaney is just taking the lead, my man. I mean, we're closing in on the back of this pack with Hamlin pushing us. I don't know why he didn't push us from the get-go, especially when everything's stacked up. That's what really killed our momentum. Everything's stacked up. At least we got a Hamlin behind us, but... Come on, Denny. Oh, we're losing Denny. No, we lost Denny. I don't have enough of a pull to get to the inside of these guys. I need you, Denny. We don't have the speed in the race car today. It's probably, honestly, as far as like the our equipment goes, it's probably the worst equipment we've had all season. But luckily, it's on a super speedway, so I guess it's not all that bad. Like we can make it work if we can just get somebody pushing us at the right time, like Denny Hamlin was. We're obviously going to need to get track position at some point. It's going to be hard for us to make passes on our own today. And if we get out to the lead, it's going to be hard for us to hang on to it, too. These cup cars like to get big runs on the super speedways nowadays. And uh, we don't really have the horsepower to block cleanly, I guess. Or at least have a harder time of blocking cleanly. All right, Denny Hamlin caught back up to us again. We're on the last lap of stage one. Uh, my man Ryan Blaney is trying to... Hold him down at the front of the field. I think he's got Legato right behind him, so he's got a teammate helping him out. And Blaney should be able to win stage one. Plus, Legato can get a big run down the back straightaway here. And at least we're not going to finish last in the stage. We passed Bobby Carter, I guess. <laughs> Started 37th. I think we're going to flatline, too. I think we're going to finish 37th. Well, maybe. Hamlin was pushing us, and he just kind of stopped. And he's going to push us again. It's too little, too late. Well, 38, so we lost a spot from the start of the race. I didn't think that was going to happen, but I guess we don't have a fast car. I don't like where it shows like our results and uh, the number on the track map. It still has it in blue, even though we have a black car now. Kind of throws off the throwback portion of this. It kept the number font, though, so that's weird. I don't know. All right. So we're going to the next stage. I'm actually going to stay out of the pits. I'm not even going to pit at all. We're going to stay out of the pits. I think we're going to have six laps in this stage, if I'm not mistaken. Either five or six again, so we should make it on fuel. Tires should be good to go, as long as we don't make too much contact. And uh, let's try to see if we can get another stage point. Yeah, we got six laps. Oh man, we're going to be really close on fuel, but we got the track position at least. Maybe caution comes out and it kind of ends the stage a little early, I don't know. Good restart for me. Pulled right up in front of Blaney as soon as I had the opportunity. Oh, this inside's rolling now. I'm rolling, doesn't want to push me for the moment. Might actually lead a lap under green right here. Blaney's starting to fade on the outside. 
got to take a three wide. I think Newman went up the middle there, and that just killed their momentum. Here comes Chase Elliott. So I was looking at the point standings, obviously, with this being the last race of the regular season. I was looking at the point standings, and uh, Chase Elliott's the first driver below it. Eric Almirola is the first driver above the cutoff line. They're running second and third right now. That's a, that's awesome. Uh, the only thing is, though, is that Elliott's going to have to win today. Like, the only way we're going to get somebody new in the playoffs today that isn't already in the top 16 is I just accidentally ran into the side of the 62. Uh, come on, Corey. Corey, Julie's trying to push us here. There we go. I want to get back down to the bottom. In front of Almirola. I know he's fast. He knows how to win on these super speedways. Come on, Eric. Yeah, stay with me, buddy. Got four to go. Brendan Gunn's in the lead. What a win that would be for him. I don't think he's in the top uh, 30 in points, though. But anyway, yeah, so even though Elliott is the first driver out on points right now, he can't even point his way in mathematically, so he's going to have to win today as well as everybody else below 16. Just some notable drivers. He's probably the most notable. But, uh, like, Christopher Bell, our full race live streams, he made the playoffs, so he's not in it here. Uh, Clint Boyer, Jimmy Johnson, they're all below 16th that need a win. We almost got around gone there. Almost. And now he's blocking us. Well, shoot. Come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. There we go. We got back under him again. Came off the bottom just enough. We got three laps to go on the stage. Tire wear is looking pretty good still. Oh, no. I am. I'm not giving that up. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to block him in time. That was a little bit of a dirty block. That was a Dale Senior block right there. All right, Eric's going to have to push me again. I'm just not a strong lead car, like at the front of the pack. Brendan Gunn's about to lead another lap. Chase Elliott back here. I want the playoff point, dang it. Caution could come out at any point, too, so we need to get the lead and hold on to it. We were clear. No, we weren't. Come on, Almarola. There you go. All right, we're all clear again. It'd be absolutely lovely if Akashi came out right now. All right, well, we go high. We're going to stall the run out for the 62, back to the bottom. Yeah, I guess we're getting pretty close on fuel. We only got to make it one more lap. Just don't run out of fuel in front of the pack, because I need to keep this track position. And they're three wide back there. They're about third on back. Oh, they got to run. Last lap of the stage. And now I'm back to blocking for my life again. Corey LaJoy. On the outside. Uh, he's going to win it. Come on, Eric. Eric's pushed me. It's too little too late. Gosh darn it, man. They're just freight training me now. This inside is not going anywhere. Logano might win this day. Oh, Almirola just shoved me out of the way. Oh, boy. He just shoved me right into Newman. We're in the sucker hole. Hang on to it, boys. <laughs> we might fall outside of the top ten. Nope, we finished ten. Wow, that happened so good. We were, so we went from leading on the back straightaway to finishing ten at the end of the stage. That's amazing. We just got put in the sucker hole and... That was it. All right. Well, we're going to pit. Uh, going to top off on fuel. Four tires. Uh, well, I guess we'll repair that second of damage. We got a pretty fast pit crew. But we still lost 25. <laughs> still lost 15 spots. We're going to be 25th. Uh, the problem with that is... Yeah. Oh, well, we'll see. I think they took fuel only. They did what I did the stage before that. So we've got eight laps to go from 25th to 1st with an 80 overall car. That's going to be tough. At least the inside line's taken off on the restart. For now, they better not stack up here at 1 and 2 like they did on the initial start. Oh, they're stacking up. They're stacking up. Yeah. 
Dang it, they did it again. Now I just lost the bottom. Thanks for that stack up. Thanks. So Reddick got back by us. Got Chris Busher pushing us right now. We just need to pretty much stay on the bottom. I don't think we're fast enough to run the outside. So we just got to stay on the bottom. We just got to follow the draft and hope we can get some draft and help behind us too. And just hope we can squeeze in some holes that we just have to take the opp every opportunity we can get. Like see right here underneath Reddick. I'm just not fast enough when I pull out of the draft. I just got under in there. Oh, if Denny Hamlin can drop in line behind me. No. Nope. Oh, that's okay. We got Stenhouse behind us. He's pretty good here, too. Trying to side draft Eric Jones. Couldn't quite get underneath him. Now he's blocking me. All right. Well, coming to six to go on the stage. Okay, Eric Jones better get going here. If you're going to block me, you better keep that momentum up. That's all I'm saying. Gosh darn it. I can't shake it. Alright. Lenny moved up. Go, Eric. Gosh. The, the hole was there and I was pushing him. They didn't take it. Now we got Stenhouse pushing us. It's like a three car tandem in the middle of the pack at Daytona. That's great. Alright. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Eric. That push is getting him nowhere. Lenny's going to block him again. Oh, we got somebody. Somebody's blowing up in here. Oh, no! Oh, Blaney! Oh, no! <laughs> I didn't know who it was. I think he blew a rear tire. Oh, man, right in front of us. We had nowhere to go. We got a little bit of damage. That's going to slow us down. The big one. Right in front of us. I mean, we just had nowhere to go. That's tough. I, well, I mean, at least we didn't DNF, and we only actually have two seconds of damage somehow. I, I mean, we should probably have more. We're only going to have two laps left, though, to try and win this race. We're going to line up 14th. That's not good. This car might not take off on the start. We hit, we do have damage, but we got to stay out. It's our only chance. I don't think we're going to win. So no playoff points today. Unless a miracle happens. Stenhouse just took off on the restart. Watch the outside stack up. This I, I'm hoping the inside stacks up again because they've been stacking up every other time. But no, when I'm not on the inside, they don't stack up. Yeah. Matt Benedetto up here. Look out, Matt. Oh, man, Eric Jones. He got a lot of damage out of that accident. All right, he's going to push us now. Oh, we got a lap and a half and we're in 15. And Corey LaJoy might win this. No, he just lost the lead. Joey Gase. We might have a, we might have an upset here at Daytona. Final lap. Just for all the marbles. Well, let's see if we can get a top 10. Try to help our average finish out. Fight for something, at least. I mean, that's about all we're racing for at this point. Statistics. Jones is kind of damaged. We're a little damaged. I mean, heck, if we can actually get involved in the big one, it's to at least keep running at the end of that to finish in the top ten, that'd be awesome. But I don't even think we're going to get a top ten out of it now. Oh, Jones quit pushing us. Whoa, easy, Harvick. All right, well, we're going to finish 12th. Oh, Joey... Freaking jerk. Yeah, that's right. I got the spot. I thought the game was going to crash there for a second. That was a long pause. Joey, I blocked him and then he stayed in the gas and he about turned me in the tri -oval. So once he got to my outside, I'm like, no, you're not beating me now. All right, 12th place. Joey Gase wins at Daytona. That's unbelievable. I don't think he's in the top 30 in points. So I don't think that's going to get him in the playoffs. The first career win, Joey Gase. We'll see where, where he's at in points. Yeah. Oh, he was actually close. 32nd. I mean, points-wise, he was like 40, what, 38 points back. But 
I didn't even think he was that close to 30th. So uh, that win will secure Eric Almirola in the playoffs. I believe, yes. No, Byron. So Byron's the last guy on points now, but it doesn't really matter because Chase Elliott's still going to be the first guy out. So Elliott, Moyer, Bell, uh, Johnson, Eric Jones, some strong cars that missed the playoffs. Matt and Benedetto. Uh, guys below the cutoff line that won both the J, uh, JTG Doherty cars. So both Priest and Stenhouse have a win. Good for them. Uh, Gase has a win, but he's not going to be in. Man, just imagine like Byron would have missed the playoffs if Joe Gase is in the top 30. Unbelievable. So there's your 16 as we roll into the Southern 500 at Darlington. We've got 10 races to go in the season. We have to win six of them to get 20 wins. Uh, I wasn't going to keep wrecking people to win the race there because I really think it would have taken us like 10 overtimes to get there. We just didn't have the car, and that damage at the end kind of hurt us too. But uh, 12th place finish, not bad, uh, given the fact that we had an 80 overall car. But now we're 0 for 6 at Daytona, so we still have not won at Daytona in our career mode. This is probably the final season of the career mode anyway because I don't see us losing the championship. The only way I see us losing the championship is if like a late race caution happens at Phoenix that just derails us but i'm gonna literally do whatever i can to win that like i will bring out caution after caution at phoenix to win the championship because we should have won it last year and we didn't and then season one we barely missed the championship for by what what was it one point like we had to win at martinsville or no that's what it was yeah we had to win at martinsville we're in a must-win situation we finished second by a nose I tried to use the bump and run the last corner, and we just missed it. All right, we're going to see what we got car-wise. Well, okay, it's going to be 100 all the way around. Got to get the Speedway chassis going in the right direction again. Got over 10 million fans. Nice. I wish we had that many subscribers. That'd be cool. All right. So everything's good to go there. We've got as many people working on things as we possibly can at this point. And uh, we don't quite have that super... Like, ideally, if we can get that super speedway chassis unlocked before Talladega, that's really all we need to unlock. Then we can uh, get two more employees with that and train them. But that's, like, the only thing we can purchase because, I mean, in the department's... For the engine, aero, and suspension, we're maxed out. We've already maxed everything out. And we need $18.6 million to get that super speedway chassis. We're at $5.54 million right now. Uh, even with the sponsorships, if we earn $1 to $2 million a race, we only got four races to get there, so we're, we're still probably not going to get it. So, yeah, the only way we can get that super speedway... Ch see, here's another thing, though. Even if this is, or this will be the last season of the career mode even if we win the championship we're still going to run the daytona 500 the following season because we have not won at daytona nor we have obviously not won the daytona 500 so i want to get the uh mark off the great american race on our checklist as well of things we need to do on this career mode uh it would really help if we had a super speedway chassis so even by the end of the season if we can unlock that uh that would be awesome start this work plan And our car is going to be maxed out at 100 all the way around for Darlington. So hopefully we can actually qualify pretty well here. That's something else like, well, I guess starting at the back obviously hurts at Daytona too when you have a car like that. But, you know, even if I didn't mess up in qualifying, I highly doubt we would have qualified top 30. Or started top 30 even with those three guys going to the rear. It is what it is. That's all right. We'll win. We'll win six races. I mentioned, you know, way back at the beginning, because we should have won the championship last season, the career mode should be over. But we had to run another season. And then I'm kind of prolonging the career mode, because I want to finish it up right around the same time we finished the full race live stream. So that's part of why it's been a couple weeks, you know, taking a break from it. But uh, we're in depth now. We're in the playoffs, so you're probably going to be seeing some regular regularly scheduled career mode races over the next couple of weeks here as we 
wrap up what we need to do here with NASCAR Heat 5 gameplay. We'll still have like an occasional um, online lobby live stream. I know it's been a really, it's been a couple months since we've done one. And I'm really behind on that. But the only chance that I really have that I can do it, because I still want to do the full race live streams every day, would probably be on like a Sunday. We can do like an afternoon uh, full race live stream and then like later Sunday night we can do an online lobby. But that's like the only way I can do it now with uh, my new work schedule coming out. Because I'll have to work Saturdays now. If Saturday nights would honestly probably be the best time to do it. Or even Friday nights, but I have to work both days. I'll be up Thursdays now too, so I guess we could probably do it there. But we're just not going to get as good of a turnout, I don't think. This car kind of feels a little tight. I don't want to loosen up because my luck will spin out if I do that. 29.310, so it was a little tight, but we still qualified 8th, so that's really good. Actually, I don't think we've ever qualified in the top 10 on an oval on the career mode. Maybe New Hampshire, that's the only other race I could think of. Maybe Dover, too. Denny Hamlin's on the pole. Let's try to win this race and lock ourselves into the round of 12. We won't have to worry about Richmond or Bristol. Richmond's going to be tough, too, so... Uh, we, we usually don't run that well there. I think we actually won there once in the career mode. But still. Logano, Byron, Newman all starting at the rear. Those are all playoff drivers, too. We got the black number three. The Intimidator with the Napa paint scheme. But still, we are ready to go. We're at the Lady in Black. So there's a lot of black going on with the sponsor. sponsor and the, well, maybe not the sponsor. But you get the point. The paint scheme, the track. We're probably going to put a black mark on the wall by the end of the day, too. <laughs> Hence the nickname Lady in Black, but it's dark outside because we're running in the nighttime. Green flag. Wow, I got a great jump on the outside. Able to clear Elliot before we get into turn one. That was perfect. All right, let's go for as many stage points as we can. And by the end of the night, hopefully we can get the win and make our way into the round of 12. I thought, oh boy, I thought Bush was going to take it three wide going into three and four there for a second, those guys in front of us. We're up to fifth on lap one, though. We gained three spots despite starting on the outside. That's pretty good. 14 laps to stage one. So we won't have to pit for fuel. I don't know what the tire wear is going to look like, though. That's going to be interesting. Bush on the outside to pass Alex Bowman. We're going to go to the inside. Great run off of two. Yeah, I'm just really tight in turn three. I had to lock the brakes up quite a bit just to get the car to turn there. It's still not wanting to turn. We kept it off the wall, though, but Truex got around us because of it. So we gained one spot, and then we lost one in the same set, uh, same corner. To a completely different driver we passed in the first place. Oh, boy. Just got the wall again. Yeah, this car's a little too tight. But I really don't want to make the adjustment. Because we'll have to see where we're at on the long run. I feel like the long run, it's really going to loosen up. And that's where we're going to start the game. Oh, Harvick got in the wall. Truex, like, pinched him off. And he just put him right in the wall. At least the points are somewhat accurate on career mode. The game hasn't crashed yet. Contact with Brad. <laughs> Just enough to keep in front of him. That's, uh, that's all we needed there. Kyle Busch is up to second. Look at that, man. One, two, three, Joe Gibbs Racing. Joe Gibbs Racing on this video game, especially on the career mode, is just insane. Like, Denny Hamlin is, like, the best driver on the championship mode. He finished second in the regular season championship. He finished second in the regular season championship on this career mode, too, and he's won multiple races in both. Um, Martin Schertz Jr., He's won the first two championships on our career mode so far. He dominated my rookie season. He won like five or six races and won the title. And then he won the title again last season because I kind of choked it. I choked it, yes, but at the same time, too, the game kind of glitched on us, I think. I don't know why we got wrecking loose in the tri-oval at Phoenix on like lap five with fresh tires. It didn't make any sense. And it wasn't even that loose like in qualifying or anything. So I don't know what the deal was there. We kind of just shoved Harvick out of the way there. We're winning this race, though. 
We won it. Uh, yeah, we won at this racetrack our rookie season. That was pretty cool. I wasn't expecting that. Side by side for the lead. Bush is going for it on Hamlin. And he's got it. I think Truex might have the fastest car, though. Hamlin blocking Truex, though. Ooh, Hamlin almost got in the wall. Trying to hang in on the outside. We got a huge run. We got by Truex. Now we're going to try to get by Hamlin into turns three and four. Look at how deep we drove it in there. Past them both. Truex trying to follow us it's to the inside of Hamlin, too. There is no way we're losing this race, ladies and gentlemen. We're halfway through stage one, and we're already to the inside of Kyle Busch for the lead. And a little slide job. Oh, I got in the wall a little bit there. We hung on to it. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. Earned our Darlington stripe, and we took the lead in the same corner. It's like I hit the wall. He had to check up behind me. Or he would have ran in the back of me. So I guess it worked. Not exactly how I wanted to do it, but it worked. Some lap traffic way up ahead already, too. Some heavy lap traffic. I mean, there's like... Oh, my gosh. I don't know how I saved that. I mean, that car was so close to just looping all the way back around. Crazy thing is, too, is that I didn't even hit the wall when I did that. We're pulling away. We got about a two and a half second lead over Kyle Busch, but we've got some really, really heavy lap traffic coming up. I don't know why I'm so... See, that's what I mean. That's why I didn't loosen it up. Because we were mad tight those first, like, five laps. And then all of a sudden the car just wants to spin out on us now. For no apparent reason. Other than it's NASCAR Heat 5. <laughs> like, look at this. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Don't hit me! And my battery disconnects. That was the ultimate FU right there. Oh my gosh. Is that, is that a caution? No caution, really? Oh my! I gotta, I gotta change this. I've got to change the controller. Control the problems at Darlington. Well, that just costed us a stage win. How was there no caution there? Like, at least if the caution would have came out, we would have won the stage. <laughs> like, oh, now look at the damage now. you got to be kidding me, man. I'm repairing it, though. It wasn't... I'm... I know we have a five-second damage clock. My controller died. And then I, and I spun out. Even though the controller died mid-spin. At least with it dying mid-spin, I didn't give myself a chance to save it. So, I will repair the damage. Man, I thought I was tight early in the run. Now I'm tight with the damage. That cost us a stage win, too. And five points in general. Final lap of the stage. Yeah, that right front. Well, we might be able to get to Harvick for a top five this stage still. That right front's wearing out quite a bit. We only got like 2% left. 
Okay, I, I can repair the damage at the end of the stage anyway. And we blew a tire. And we're still gonna finish sixth. <laughs> that was a shit show and a half right there. That was a. Uh, that was something. That was something. Look at that, 14. That's probably gonna cost us so much track position that we're not even gonna be able to win this stage either. All right, come on. I didn't get as good of a jump as I did on the initial start. Freaking Michael McDowell is leaning on us right now. Get off me, Michael. What are you doing, man? What an idiot. How did he save that? <laughs> like, he was pointed head on, head on into the wall. And he, oh, no, they were right. <laughs> he saved it, but I... I glanced back, they were wrecking going into turn three. There was like a couple cars spinning. Oh, jeez. That was all Michael McDowell's fault right there. I don't know what he was thinking.